Hey folks, we are talking about the Sepoy Rebellion today. Um, this is under the kind of section of the unit where we figure out what the best response to imperialism was. We're going to look at the violent Indian reaction to British rule and see how that played out today. This is just the introduction to that activity. The goal for the screencast is when you're done, you should be able to say that you understand the context and the long-term impact of the Sepoy Rebellion. If you can do that, great. If not, uh, go back and rewatch the screencast or check uh, the relevant book sections in your textbook. So the Sepoy Rebellion began in the mid-1850s in northern India. Um, and it was a group of Sepoys, uh, and again, these are Indian soldiers who were working for the British uh, colonizers who turned against the British rulers and began a violent fight against British rule in India. We'll talk a little bit later. Um, you'll do some investigating through some documents to figure out why the Sepoys rebelled. Uh, for now, though, we're more worried about the context and the impact of this rebellion. Here's a map of the northern part of India, and these towns that are underlined in red were places where that rebellion had spread to. So you could see it wasn't just a, a localized rebellion, it was a place, it was a rebellion that spread through much of the northern part of India. The immediate impact of this rebellion, um, and again, it's an armed rebellion, a violent rebellion, was that it took 13 months for the British East India Company to re regain control of India. Now again, the British East India Company was ruling India. That's a company that's ruling India, not the British government. So the British East India Company um, took quite a bit of time to regain control of the country. Also during this time period, this 13 months, the Indian citizens actually had direct control over uh, various parts of the country for about a year, uh, which was new given the fact that the British East India Company had been ruling parts of India for close to 200 years. After the British East India Company regained control of the company, the British government booted British, the British East India Company out of controlling India. Um, the British East India Company was allowed to stay on and continue to you know, buy and sell goods from India, but they were no longer in direct control of the, co the country of India. Also, brutal tactics were used by the British to regain control. Um, there were some nasty civilian deaths um, and, and things like that. Uh, there was some pretty, pretty drastic punishment for people who were judged to be supporting the Sepoys or for the leaders of the Sepoy Rebellion as well. And in these tactics and throughout this kind of violent resistance to British rule, um, several, several hundred thousand people died as a result of this. This is a cartoon from a British newspaper. Um, you see India portrayed in the lower right-hand corner. Um, and then the, the tiger on the right side is the Indian people. And then that's the, the British army is the lion jumping in to, to try to defend the rights of the British traders in India. Uh, one of the long-term impacts of this rebellion was that Brit the British began to control more and more aspects of Indian life than they had before. Uh, also, there was no long-term, or there was no independence for India until 1947, so it took 90 years after the Sepoy Rebellion happened and was or almost 90 years after the Sepoy Rebellion happened and was stopped for the Indian people to get independence. So in the bigger picture, again, we're trying to figure out what the best way for an imperialized people to respond is. And hopefully you've gotten some context and kind of aftermath of the Sepoy Rebellion. Given that, I'd like you at the end of this to make a T-chart and talk about the positives to a violent reaction to imperialism and the negatives on the other side, the negatives of a violent reaction to imperialism, based on both what you read about here in, or what you saw here in the Sepoy Rebellion, but also kind of thinking of other things and other positives and negatives you know about violent reactions and non or and positives of violent reactions and negatives of violent reactions to uh, a group of people who are ruling a country. So think about that. That'll be the last section of your notes for this screencast. Finally, if you understand the context and the long-term impact of the Sepoy Rebellion, you're good. If not, I'll head back and rewatch parts of this screencast or check your textbook. Thanks.